I asked the panel members how they perceive the rise of the Muslim Brotherhood, a prospect that terrifies so many lawmakers and commentators in the United States. Their response betrayed weary sophistication that is absent official Washington because they have what America's policymakers and pundits generally lack, context. Because this question of the Islamist threat has been uh, so, so much annoying. I've been hearing it tens and tens and tens and tens of times, especially from foreign journalists. And, and the, the idea is it has been really infringing on the public will of the Egyptian people. I wouldn't vote for the Islamists. Uh, the, the statistics and the opinion polls show that they get like 10, 15, 20 maximum percent uh, of the vote. Uh, but but to, 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 to put a spotlight on the Islamists in Egypt, and we have on our next border in Israel a maniac like Benjamin Netanyahu, a far right wing government that has done 2009 wars, has done terrible things. When we have another maniac like Bush, who went to Afghanistan and Iraq and ruined a lot of people, the lives of a lot of people based on uh, religious mythologies. And, 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 and here, we have the Islamists have done as much terrible things as those too many ex did. It's, it's annoying. I actually do believe that labeling the Muslim brand of Islamist is a very arbitrary term because they do not yeah. have the Islamist ideology. The Islamist ideology is something that's actually built by, let's say, Al-Qaeda and, uh, and the US, sorry to say that. However, um, this type of ideology is everywhere and it's available yeah. everywhere, but uh, it's not in the Muslim Brotherhood. It could be in a simple Egyptian walking down the streets, he decided to do this and that and this. Uh, so, are Islamists increasing in Egypt? Uh, that's questionable. Too much spotlight. <coughs> then they, they, they cannot manipulate, they cannot maneuver, they cannot have uh, 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 deals, like uh, under the table deals with past regime or this regime or with this cap. Like it's so obvious for, for everyone that there's a deal happening between them and this cap. And before that, you know, it wasn't really that clear, but people are questioning a lot, like is there's anything happening between you and this cap? So, they, they can't keep on doing that all the time. They have to be more clear. They, they, would, they were working underground 100%. But now they have the chance to speak up, to go on TV, to go everywhere, to go on the street, do the propaganda, propaganda trucks, and like, go around and um, say whatever they want. And this is why we're starting to actually, for the first time in 30 years, to get like head-to-head -head with SS.